I have something very important to share. For the past few months, I've been really feeling down and depressed because I have over a thousand lifetime members who I promised that they're going to be part of a community of web designers where I show you how to use DV, even DV5, and also tips and tutorials on this platform. Now, a lot of you have paid quite a bit of money for the lifetime license, but I haven't delivered. The challenge that I've been getting was... I could not find a very good software that could create my platform and make it work efficiently. I was having password issues, and most importantly, my website was really slow and unusable. Now, if you go to dvuniversity.com right now, you'll notice that I actually have a community here. You can see I have newsfeed here. I also have groups. I have forums, courses, and so on. But this website is unusable. It's very, very slow. And I feel like I've let all of you down. So two days ago, I was on Facebook, and I saw this post which was talking about Fluent Community being a plugin which was super fast and very easy to use. So at that point, I really got excited because... That was going to be my solution to having a community on DV University. And this would be the solution for all my lifetime members. So here is the community. So I was playing around with the website. And by the way, this website here is actually running the community. So I'm going through here and I noticed that we have a news feed. If I come over here to spaces, these are all the groups. I mean, they call them spaces. And for example, I'm a part of this group here, Fluent Boards and also Fluent Community. So I could just go into that community itself. I went in and I could see that this plugin was in beta. I started reading more and this is when I started feeling excited again. So I went on and downloaded the beta version and installed it on my website. Now the website I installed it on is a staging website. It's not really on Div University. To my shock, this was so fast and so easy to use. Now, let me just do a demo and show you how this plugin actually works. So here we are. Once you've installed it, you'll see an entry here called Fluent Community. So if you come in here, and by the way, Fluent Community is also made by the makers of Fluent CRM, which is a very solid software. I use this, I mean, I've been using it for many, many years now. I've also used Fluent Forms. I've also used Fluent Support and uh, Fluent Boards. I mean, they have very, very good software for WordPress. So anyway, here we are. We're on the settings. Now you notice that I can go in here and manage quite a few things. If I come over here to settings, I can go in here, set my logo. I can disable global posts from here. And I can now choose who access this portal. So these are the portal settings. So I can say only logged in users can use this portal or everyone can use it. And I can actually add a login URL. Now, before I continue, <laughs> there's also dark mode. So if I just switch to dark mode, you can see here, I know it's very exciting for me because sometimes I want to work in dark mode. So this really got me excited. I went over here and to my surprise, this also comes with courses. Can you imagine? You create a community and that community also has courses inbuilt. And access to these courses are based on the space or the group itself. So over here, you can see I have DV Blueprint, DV Blueprint 5. And if I go into manage this, it's pretty much similar to Tutor LMS. I have my lessons here. I have my modules. It's so simple to use. So if I wanted to add a lesson, I could just click on add lesson. And then I'll give this a name. So for example, let's call this lesson 4 so that it just looks the same with everything else. So if I click now add, here we are. Now to go in here to edit the lesson, I just click on edit lesson. And this is where I can paste my video URL, whether it's from Vimeo, YouTube, Wistia, and so on. I can just paste it here, and this is where I would add all my text. So text goes here. If I want to add my, say, for example, links, I can just highlight here, and then I can just click and add my URL just like that to share my resources. Now, I know this is a stripped-down version. It's basic, but the most important thing is it does the job. Now, what really got me excited here was the speed. I mean, it's so fast and so easy to use. Now, let's go ahead and see more items that we can customize here. So if I go to the feed, it's now going to show me what is happening here on the timeline. So I can just go in and say hello again. Now, you notice that as I'm doing this, if I click on post, I can go in and add the heart. I can go in and add a comment. So I can add a comment here. I can upload an image. Right now, when you look at it, it looks very plain, but it is full of features. 
If I come over here to these three little dots, I can copy the link, I can delete, I can also edit, and then over here, I can go in and bookmark it. So when I need to search another time, I can actually find all my bookmarks over here. On the right here, we have recent activity. So this is where you would see all the action happening. So if I go to their main website, you can see here on the recent activities, these are all the posts that everyone is posting, right? So that's, you know, mine, is, mine doesn't have much going on because I haven't added anything. Now we also have a feature here called leaderboard. So this now is ranked according to how you're active in the community. And I like this because then all of a sudden it becomes more of an incentive for someone to want to go in and post or interact. And this is huge. Look at this. So John Davis here, plus nine. We have Shyam Chaudhry, plus nine. So all these are ranked last 30 days, all time. Do you see what I mean? I really, really love this. Okay, we also have members. So this is where you'll see all the list of members. And let's say you go into a member here like that. They have their own profile. And I love this. So this profile now will have the spaces. We can see, have a look at the about. And if we want to message James here, we can just go in here and start to chat. So do you see how, how much power Fluent Community has? This is amazing. And already my mind is buzzing. I'm more excited now because I know I can use this for DB University. Okay, so let me carry on. We've got more. Here we have members, we have spaces. It's also very easy to go in and create your spaces. So if I come over here, I can create a community. Now, I think this is something that they need to change as well. The team at community, they need to decide whether they're going to use spaces or community because right now we have create community. So I can go in here. Now notice that it says now your space title. So community and space, they're use, being used interchangeably. So I guess this is something that needs to be addressed. But anyway, you can give it a title here. And so let's call this test. You can give this a title like that. And then you decide if this is going to be private, public, and so on. And then here you can choose the group. So I can go to free membership, say hello, or VIP. Okay, so maybe we want to go to that and then we can create. But right now, there are no posts, but we have our space and this is private as well. Okay, so now when you go back to our website here, you can see we have our feed, we go to our spaces, we have our tests. When I come over here to my courses, you're going to notice that we have our courses here, which will be laid out like this. And obviously, I'm the only member here. So this is the member that will show. And on the leaderboard, this is just going to be me. So I was thinking again, oh, wow. Okay, fine. We have the community. What else can we do with this? And guess what? There's some automation. So if you have Fluent CRM, you can actually automate your community. And this is built in. Now, let me show you how that works. So as you can see, this is our main portal. So let's go back now to our website. So I can show you where this is. So we are now going to go to our dashboard. Then we're going to go to Fluent CRM. Okay, so what we need here is automations. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Click on new automation. And for this, we're going to create from scratch. Now, this is the basic, basic Fluent CRM. This is not the advanced. So I'm just going to call this test again. And then I'm going to come over here to the community tab. So here now we have joint community and enroll in course. So we can trigger our automation based on these two options here. So let's say join community. I can go and hit continue. Now, initially, if we wanted to tag uh, everyone here, we could first create our tags. So here we can say targeted communities. Look, we have our test community here. I can select it and then hit save. Now I can go in and start adding pretty much everything that I need to do. So I can say, wait, perhaps maybe a few minutes. So just to give some time for people to sign up, save changes, and then I can go in and add perhaps maybe an, a welcome email. So I can come over here, custom email. So this is going to be my welcome email like that. Of course, I can go in and add the content here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go in and save. So we can continue on. If I want to add a tag, come over here. Now, I'm not sure if I have any tags. No, no tags. But I could go in and create a tag. But for now, I don't have a tag. So let's go in and delete this step. Okay. So let's say they've joined the test community. The question is, what needs to happen next? So I can say, with that, let's head over now to our community. Now, do you see how much we have here on the community? We have enroll to courses, remove from courses, change community membership status. We have remove from the group and so on. 
So this is amazing. So if I click on here, I can now choose my course, DV Blueprints, save settings. Look at that. Guys, this is a game changer. There is nothing out there that is fully integrated and that works like Fluent Community plus Fluent, Fluent CRM. This is so powerful. Now, once you set up the automation, you can just sit back and all these tasks will be executed behind the scenes and pretty much you have your community working on autopilot. So it got me thinking, do we need a membership plugin for this? Turns out there's no need for extra software or an extra membership plugin because when you create the group, you, you assign what they have access to. So a group will have all the access that it needs. So you, the creator now, will go into that group. Perhaps maybe you have some uh, content that only is for VIP members. You can just go in and post in the VIP. So the free members won't be able to go into the VIP and access that information. That will save you money. It got me thinking again. If I wanted to charge for these courses, how am I going to do it? Well, if you use WooCommerce, you can actually create a a product or a course in WooCommerce for the payments and add an automation where as soon as they've paid, they'll be automatically added to the particular group you want. Guys, isn't this amazing? So all of a sudden now, I've got so much energy because I have so many ideas that I could that I didn't have for the DV University website. So watch this space. Very, very soon, you're going to see a new launch of DV University with all these features that I'm talking about. And also, if you want to be part of the Fluent community when it launches, I am going to ask for a discount. I mean, I know Joel very well. We've done this before where he's given me a special code which will give you a discount on the final version when it, when it releases. So I'm going to leave a link where you can just sign up so that when Fluent Community is released, which is going to be very, very soon, you will get a discount. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Just drop me an email. And then once it comes out, I will give you access to the discount code, okay? Or the early, early birds discount code. Not only that, I'm also going to show you how to set up a community based on Fluent Community and Fluent CRM, just in case you may want to set up your own thing. So as I was using this, there's also a few things that I thought could help this software. And these are things like making it customizable because you really want to go in and set your fonts, your colors, and maybe a bit of the layout. So I think that is going to be something that's going to be added soon. That will be a very, very good thing to add. Secondly, what I'd also like to see is perhaps if you're using, say, a theme, Fluent Community will just inherit all the settings from the theme just to make the whole thing look, look pretty much uniform. And finally, if, if you say, for example, you're a Gutenberg user, it would be nice to also have some blocks that you can add to put together your community. But apart from that, this is huge. I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to set it up. And for those of you who signed up for Div University, don't worry, I have all your emails. I'm going to send an email out and then give you a link to sign up and then you can be part of the community again. So the Team and Fluid community came at the right time and this to be honest, it's amazing. I did not have a solution to Div University until just a few days ago. So I'm really excited. So check it out, Fluent Community. There's a beta version. If you want to play around with it, go ahead, check it out. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.